Es ist zwei Freunde. Hinter uns steht das Raumschiff, mit dem Elfen vor all den Jahren, vor gut 300 Jahren, von Lenegis nach Dana gekommen ist. Obwohl er sich nicht richtig daran erinnern kann und so, wir wissen in die ganze Geschichte. Und jetzt wollen wir damit also selbst nach Lenegis aufbrechen. Oh Mann, oh Mann, oh Mann, da bin ich schon mal sehr gespannt. Did you remember something? No, but I have seen that starship before. This is it. This is the ship I traveled in when I escaped from Lenegas. Three centuries later, and it's no worse for wear. I'll take a look at the internals. Damn! I'm amazed it still works at all after all this time. The past meets the present. I really am from a different time and place. Yeah. But you've got us now, Alfin. Not only that, but you've helped out so many people, too. Law's right. Rinwell, too. You're one of us now. No more carrying the weight of history on your shoulders. You're a part of this world. Right. Thanks, you guys. It should fly. All internal systems seem to be operating. However, considering how long it's remained inactive, I suspect it will take some time before it's ready for takeoff. How much time are we talking here? Starship mechanics are not what I'd call my forte, so I'd rather not hazard a guess. So we've just got to sit around here and wait? I'm terrible at waiting. That's because you're a child. Oh, but how about we use this time to prepare and gather supplies for the trip? Good idea. Who knows when we'll be back from Lenegas once we leave. We should prepare ourselves for every possible scenario before we go. Let's try not to stay away too long. I'd hate for anything to happen to the place while we're gone. Either we race ahead, or we take due precaution to ensure we have no regrets. I shall leave it up to you as to how we proceed, Alfin. Works for me. Das ist nicht euer Ernst. Jetzt kriege ich einen Hinweis darauf, von wegen der Übrigen, wenn du das und das machen willst. Super. Heißt, wir kommen nicht mehr zurück oder was? Hä? Äh, so geht es da weiter? Okay, verwirrend. So, was war eigentlich das Schlüsselsymbol hier? Das war nur Doha, die man starten kann oder was? Hm, offenbar. Äh. Sturzstelle. Hm. Was passiert, wenn ich jetzt da direkt reingehe? Ist hier eigentlich noch... Okay, creepy. So, und jetzt? It's funny, isn't it? What is? All this. When we first started this thing, did you ever imagine we'd be going to Lenegas? After all, this is the sort of thing I was rebelling against when I ran away from home, right? I'm sure Zephyr would be proud if he knew what his son was doing right now. And a little shocked, too. We're defying the order of things that have persisted for 300 years. <laughs> Deep down, I knew our journey would lead to confronting Lenegas. Yeah, you maybe, but you're a Renan. The rest of us can barely even picture what it means to leave Dana. No offense to Xion and Dohalim, but it's worth remembering we're heading into enemy territory. No offense taken, and this is no picnic for me either. Remember, 
Our aim is to ensure that both Lenegas and the Renan homeworld leave Dana alone for good. I don't think we'll be able to avoid a fight. Is there no way we can talk them into leaving us alone? The people of Lenegas? Sure. I mean, we found a way to make it work with Xion and Dohalim, right? And it's not just us. If places like Menencia can do it, then why can't because we- Because there are still many of my kind who believe it was right and natural that Rena reigns over Dana. There are those on Lenegas who have never stepped foot on Dana. I doubt whether they'd even listen to Danans. Look, none of us want to fight. But these are the same people who fired that wedge down on Dana. What happens next is on them. Right. We're not going to sit back and wait for them to oppress us again. Right. Don't forget, there's also a good chance the Red Woman is somewhere on Lenegas. And wherever she is, we should find the Renesalma, too. That's right. If we can take it back, then Xion can finally get rid of her thorns. <sighs> Xion? Huh? Uh, yeah. Where'd Shion go? How could she just go off on her own? Oh, nein, schon wieder, ey. Oh, Alter. She's not over there. Where did she run off to? Okay, Shion. das mit Shion wird langsam ein bisschen anstrengend. Shion. Shion! <lacht> But why? You okay? Just now, it looked like you used your maiden powers to suppress your thorns. You can really do that? Stay out of my way. Second. Are you planning to go alone? Shut up! Why would you do this? I told you to shut up! <laughs> I won't let you. I mean it. I refuse to let you. I won't tell you again. Move or I'll shoot. If that's the case. Go ahead and shoot me! Do you remember back when I was stabbed? By Volron? Yeah. I thought for sure that he had killed you back there. That wasn't the first time. Huh? The first time was when I was only a child. After that, no matter how often, I just couldn't die. Couldn't die? So you're immortal? How's that even... <clears throat> Believe you, Shion. It 
tell me how. How is something like that possible? My thorns. They're me, but at the same time, not. They're part of me. I have no idea why. But my thorns will never let me die. At least not before I'm meant to. You can't die before you're dead? When my thorns free themselves, it will be my death. <laughs> I've seen it. A darkness that swallows up everything until nothing remains. It's a vision of oblivion I can't escape. I want to believe it's all just a bad dream. But no matter what I tell myself, I... I know it's not. Yeah, you... Wait, the whole reason you... You needed the Renaissance was to get rid of your thorns, right? If I burn away what's inside, then what will happen to the rest of me? Right. Either way you look at it, I'm going to die. But if I am going to die, I figure I can at least take my thorns out with me. That's what I've been after this whole time. That's why you turned your back on your fellow Renans and chose to fight with us, isn't it? While we've all been fighting to keep on living, you have been with us fighting desperately to die. That was the plan. But then I met all of you, and I... Before I knew it, I didn't want to die anymore. hope yet we'll find a way to save you there's still time to it's pointless why because the darkness won't just consume me the truth is it will consume all of existence as well it was only a suspicion at first but ever since the red woman triggered my maiden powers I've been more certain than ever before It was then that I finally came to realize my powers were holding my thorns in check the entire time. But they don't anymore. Not since Lenigus, when the wedge fell. Every day, I feel the thorns' power growing stronger inside of me. Pretty soon, I won't be able to hold them back anymore. And when that happens, they will consume all existence. And that's why you wanted to leave by yourself. You planned to find the Renaissance on your own and sacrifice yourself to stop the thorns. But that's too much. It's way too much. When this all began. I didn't care what happened to me or anyone else. And what happened to the Renans or the Danans didn't matter to me at all. I know I have to die. But I don't want to. Not now that I have this. I wish we had never met. Then I wouldn't have to feel this way. See you. It's no better than being a slave. How can you endure this? Elfin. It's not fair. I don't care what anybody says. I won't let it happen. We can fight this. We'll fight until the end together. Isn't that what you said to me before? Even if it should mean that it'll be the end of everything else, too? Shh. 
Sia, what do you want? It's your decision. You decide not to fight fate. I will, even if I have to do it alone. No, you won't be alone. I'll fight as well. Count me in as well. I want to be a force for good, not hate. And me too. I meant it with all of my heart when I told you before. Neither of you are alone in this at all. And I, for one, don't believe this venture is without hope. Huh? Shion is the descendant of a maiden from 300 years ago. Given the circumstances, it seems very likely that those events have some connection to Earth Horns. The true nature of which, I imagine we will discover as we make our way to Lenigus and uncover the truth of what's unfolding here. I take it you mean we might find a way to get rid of Earth Horns and to live? It's certainly possible. Though I suspect the nature of the Sovereign is connected somehow. So be it. I've already lost everything I had once. And I won't let it happen again. Shion. No matter what happens from now on, we're right here with you. All of us are. You are not alone. Dear guys, you're all so stubborn. Thank you. right now in a little while longer i just want to hold on to this dream and most of all more than anything else i want to be with all of you so let's go on to lenicus Eine so schöne Szene. Warum muss dieser verdammte Gesang einsetzen? I need something to eat. Ja, ich auch, ich, ich auch was ganz anderes, ey. Also falls er jetzt gerade irgendwie äh, keine Musik hatte, gar nichts, auch keine Synchronisation, gar nichts, liegt daran, weil es rauskatten musste. Weil das Spiel sich irgendwie dachte, komm, wir legen den Gesang vom Intro darüber. Beziehungsweise dahinter ist Intro Musik und lasse trotzdem quatschen. Das kommt auf YouTube ganz gut, hm? ihr seht schon kommen. Oh mein Gott, ey. So, Fangsboost L ist auch weg, also erstmal quatschen. The end of the world. It's hard to believe, isn't it? I believe Shion is telling the truth. What about you? As a friend, yes, I want to believe her. Everything that's happened seems to point towards some sort of great danger that's lurking ahead of us. Still, it's hard to fathom something that could usher outright doom to the world. That those really are the stakes we face. No, I understand. Even Shion doesn't seem to know exactly what will happen to bring it all about. We have so many pieces of the puzzle in our hands. So many clues. Yet the complete picture eludes us. So where do her thorns fit in then? Well, I imagine they must sit at the very center of it all. You remember the voice we all heard while we were inside the wedge, don't you? Yeah, I remember. It was the will of Dana's astral energy come to life. Well, that's what we all thought. Right. And from that, we're able to hypothesize how vast concentrations of astral energy can become sentient. Let's return to when we found Shion in Pelegion. When her thorns went wild, they contained far more astral energy than any mere Renin would normally have inside them. So you think those thorns might be alive too? That their will is what keeps her from dying? But why would they want to destroy the entire world? As for that, I really cannot say for certain. 
Its goals still remain a mystery. It may be a mere fluke that her maiden powers have been able to contain it thus far. You know, I've noticed since we've met that you like figuring out riddles. Can you blame me? When one realizes that the world they once thought to be true is but a mere facade, they can't help but seek the truth. Especially when that deception has led to others getting hurt. Dohalim? I imagine the remaining pieces of the puzzle that we seek rest somewhere within Lenigus. As for what the final picture will look like, who can say? I think it's best we not dwell on it too much for the time being. Right. Also ich vermute, dass sich einige äh, Mosaikstückchen oder Puzzlestücke ja auch noch in äh, Rena befinden. Hä? Wo ist jetzt? Huh. Sieht Rena gar nicht mehr. Okay, krass. Aber ich sehe es gerade nicht. Hm. Äh, was ist denn überhaupt? Ja, doof gefragt. Eben noch in Kalaglia, wa? Hm, krass. Die Nacht von dem Abflug. Hm. Äh, war gerade mit anderen noch Quatsch. Ich wollte ganz kurz gucken. Ein paar Dinge hätten wir eigentlich noch, also sprich da Sidequests, aber ich glaube, es kann können wir uns ruhig fürs Ende abspannen, oder? Ich glaube, es ist irgendwie heißt, hey, da ist ein Point of No Return, da kommen sie nie mehr zu, du kannst nie mehr die Quests lösen. So war die Tales of Abenteuer noch nie irgendwie gedacht. Klar, es gab mal irgendwie ein Ende, vor allem bei Tales of Berseria, wo man nachher wieder vor dem Ende anfangen musste, wenn man noch die Quests machen wollte und so, aber ihr wisst schon, ne? Vor ihm noch ein bisschen was anderes. Also sagen, ja, du kommst nicht mehr zurück nach Dana. Das wird es garantiert nicht geben. So. How you holding up? Who, me? Yes, you. You took a hit from those thorns again, didn't you? Oh, that? That was nothing. Compared to what Shion's going through, you mean? Still, even if you yourself might be willing to endure that kind of pain, that doesn't mean Shion wants to have to see you get hurt by her thorns, you know? <sighs> yeah, I know. I'll be careful. Shion doesn't know how lucky she is to have you around, you know? Dashing in to save her at the last minute. Yeah, yeah, very funny. I'm being serious. You went up and held her close like you still had that mask on. And you didn't even bat an eye. She really needed that. That's what I mean when I said you saved her. Just like you did with the rest of us. I just want for Shion what we all have. The ability to touch someone without the fear of killing them. Those thorns have robbed her of the kind of everyday things we all take for granted. And it's not right. You can say that again. It may be normal for us, but that doesn't make it any less special or important for her. I hope she gets what she wants. I have my own dreams. But a world without her... Where she dies so we can all survive, isn't a world I want to live in. Agreed. It's like more and more keeps getting taken from her, and I'm done with it. Starke Worte hier. Also, wenn ich was sagen muss äh, von Tales of Arise, was ein bisschen von anderen Tales of Spielen äh, abhebt, dann definitiv die Gespräche, und zwar jetzt nicht die Anzahl und so, sondern vor allem wie tief die Gespräche gehen. Klar hatten wir anderen Tales auch Spiele, vor allem auch Berseria, Zestiria oder Xilia, wo es äh, auch sehr emotional werden konnte. Aber es war irgendwie nie so, auch mit den ganzen Charakteren unter sich zu den jeweiligen Hauptspielern. Und jetzt mal hier als Beispiel mit äh, Elfen und Shione. Da sind die eben auch die anderen so eine tiefe Bindung zu ihnen aufbauen. Das ist hier schon noch ein bisschen extremer als ein Anspielen so war. Was ich auch noch ganz cool finde. Can't sleep. After everything we just heard, how could I? Fair enough. Shion's had to deal with so much on her own. Even when we were all laughing and celebrating, she just kept quiet and didn't say anything. I thought she was keeping her distance because of her thorns. Said it was because she didn't want to hurt anybody by getting too close. I just figured that that was the type of person she was, you know? But it turned out to be none of that. All this time, she felt like she had to die and sacrifice herself for the greater good. But even then, she didn't think she could say anything to us about it. I know. 
She was so alone this entire time. How could I call her a friend and yet be so completely blind to everything she was going through? I'm sure it made her happy, knowing you were there for her. You really think so? Yeah, I do. If she didn't think of us as friends, I don't think she could have ever opened up to us like that. You were a good friend to her before, and you'll be an even better one now. Yeah, I really hope so. I want to be the best I can for her. When you think about it, we were all alone in our own way. But over time, we've all found ways to let each other into our lives. I hope Xi'an's able to do that one day too. No, I mean, I hope she's able to do that more. Lots and lots more. I think it'd be really nice if we could all just be there to support each other when it really counts. And forget about our grudges and pain. Rinwell. Auch sehr schöne Worte von Rinwell. Und wurde die ganze im Hintergrund herumgeflogen. Did you know? You mean about Xion? Yeah, I didn't have the slightest idea. I mean, every once in a while I thought something seemed a little off, but I never could have imagined. It's like a completely different world was spinning around me and I couldn't even see it. You and me both. I mean, I knew something was bothering her, but I could never quite figure out what it was. You? But you're the one always looking out for her, aren't you? That's what I thought. But in reality, I didn't understand it all. What I thought was helping and being there for her was actually just driving her into a corner. At least you figured it out in time, though, right? I don't think we're out of the woods yet. But yeah, you're right. We brought her back from the edge, and we're going to stop those thorns from taking her, no matter what. Yeah, with all of us together, there's nothing we can't handle. She on the world, we can save everyone. And I mean it when I say we, Alfin. I know. No lone wolfing it. Hey, you're the expert on what my dad would say. Do you think he'd pat me on the back or tell me off? Zephyr, I don't think that he'd have that much to say, to be honest. You're your own man now, Law. And you've already made up your own mind about what you want. I guess he couldn't say anything even if he wanted to. Law. Sorry. I guess those of us amongst the living have enough problems to deal with, don't we? We'll need all our strength to save Xion. I'll probably end up worrying again at some point. I guess I'll think it over more then. That okay? Yeah, I think it is. Ganz ehrlich, Law. C4 würde ich auf die Schultern klopfen. Aber sowas von. So, was hier der Schlüssel wohl soll. Ja, eben, es muss. Ich meine, es ist genau hier. Es muss damit zu tun haben. Dass man das Raumschiff starten äh, geht. Ähm, mit Xion das Gespräch. Ja, ich glaube, wir sparen uns für die nächste Folge auf, Freunde. Weil ich habe keine Ahnung, ich weiß, ich habe irgendwie den Anfang der Folge, wenn ich einerseits doof gewählt, andererseits gut, weil ich dann so dachte, von wegen, ja super, jetzt können wir wieder irgendwelche Sidequests machen, so wenn wir nicht mehr zurückkommen. Dann kam die andere Scheiße dazu, und dann war es eigentlich wieder gut. Und hier weiß ich jetzt auch nicht so genau, wenn ich jetzt hier nochmal ein Gespräch mache, es können Gespräche wie die anderen sein. Zwei Minuten fertig, schön. Es könnte aber auch sein, dass nachher wieder irgendwas von Lenegis runterfällt. Das Raumschiff zerstört und Game Over ist oder so, oder was anderes passiert. Deswegen würde ich jetzt mal sagen, Freunde, wir lassen das mal für heute und quatsch mit Shion das nächste Mal und ja, vermutlich gehen wir dann nach Lenegis, weil, wie bereits erwähnt, von Sidequests her, es macht keinen Sinn, jetzt noch anzugehen. Vor allem Eulenwald, Geist, äh, Verzeihung, äh, Eulenwald, Bibliophil können wir erst später abschließen. Für die anderen hier, Leve wohl Magier, Geisertempel, Phantomblume, Unsinnbarer Zorn sind noch zu schwach. Ganz ist ein paar, aber keine Ahnung, wo ich anfangen und enden soll. Von dem her, ja, würde ich sagen, machen wir die Quest später. Und sonst haben wir, glaube ich, vielleicht sogar schon alles gemacht. Zwei Quests mehr als im Spiel. Und sage ich damit, danke fürs Zusehen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Zurück bei Tales of Arise. Ciao zusammen.